Hello everyone, this is Vaishali Gargri from Shashwat Organics and really happy to record the 6th episode of Organic Sutra. I have been really lucky to find very good mentors throughout my organic journey and I, I still keep learning from them. There are many. One person who has made a very very deep impact on my thinking who has shaped my career in organic field and also helped me a lot to reflect upon and think on my own is nobody but Masanabu Fukuoka. Many of you must have heard of his book The One Straw Revolution. If you haven't read this book, please go and buy this book now and read it. Whoever wants to get into or embark upon the journey of organic farming must read it or sustainable farming. What is it that, um, what is something extraordinary about what Masanabu Fukuoka had to say? Actually, he is the one who revolutionized the thinking once again. He brought it to the notice of people who were very busy in modern agriculture, who wanted to increase the yield, productivity and the GDP, who were behind all these numbers but not thinking long term enough for the health of the soil, the health, the food quality and also the environment. What did Masanabu do? Masanabu just brought those thinkings to the forefront and made people think once again. The Chinese and the Indians have an agricultural history which dates back to 10,000 years and this is how they grew food without any chemicals, without any fertilizers and without thinking of the yield and the productivity. They just grew food which was good for them which grew naturally. Masanabu did exactly that and he brought everybody's attention to those old techniques, the traditional methods which helped the environment equally and got the best food to the food plate. Masanabu was uh, a botanist and uh, a Japanese botanist and he lived up to a uh, ripe year of 95 and thanks to his lifestyle and the way he farmed and his thinking that he led such a healthy, healthy lifestyle and a long life. So what are those principles that Mosanabu said? He said he insisted on do nothing farming. That means do not interrupt the natural cycle. Nature is capable of taking care of itself. It's regenerative in nature and it doesn't need any interference. So zero interference, no intervention was the foundation of Mosanabu's thinking and teaching. No plowing. Plowing actually disturbs the bioactivity in the soil. So he said no plowing. If you see in the forest naturally things grow naturally, the seeds fall, they germinate and they uh, grow based on the quality of the seed, the strength of the seed and the environment that it gets around. The second principle that Masanabu insisted was no fertilizers obviously whatever if your soil is healthy and if your seed is good it will grow into a very healthy plant. The third one is don't use chemicals, no pesticides, no herbicides. Let the wild species grow side by side because they give equally to the soil and to the uh, the food growing around it so there is a give and take between plants also like we have in human beings and there is a very beautiful synergy so the wild uh, grasses and the weeds are the first babies of the nature so let it grow side by side of your crop and the zero intervention that he had mentioned to uh, like a lot of people do the pruning cutting uh, that is something that Masanabu was completely against and uh, uh, just replicating what nature has in itself was Masanabu Fukuoka's principle. 
there is a lot there is a lot that one can learn and one needs self reflection very important point and everybody uses it now is the mulching creating a situation where the soil gets a natural cover when the soil is moist and is covered um, it it retains its bioactivity the species can thrive in that environment which help your soil to enrich better and provides a very good uh, environment for your crops so it's time anybody who wants to get to natural farming or sustainable farming must read uh, masanabu's book the one straw revolution and this man what is so special about this man that he brought it to everybody's notice he took effort to write it down and put it out for all of us so let us follow the principle of no intrusion very less effort in farming because that was getting really really difficult for the farmers and get back to the simple methods of farming simple simple things in life are always beautiful and long lasting